What if throwing away an orange peel could bring a forest back to life? In Costa Rica, two ecologists, Daniel Jansen and Winnie Hallwachs, dared to find out. Once, a lush forest, the land had been stripped bare by cattle ranching, left dry, lifeless, and overrun by invasive grasses. Nearby, the Del Oro Juice Company faced a problem. Mountains of leftover orange peels. The scientists proposed a radical deal, dump the peels on the barren land, and in return, donate forests to the national park. The hope? That the peels would smother the invasive grasses and feed the soil, giving nature a jump start. It was a bold experiment. Could industrial waste spark the rebirth of a tropical forest? The stage was set for an ecological gamble, one that would test the power of nature and human ingenuity. Sometimes, the most unlikely solutions can change everything. This is the story of how a simple idea, and a lot of orange peels, set out to heal a wounded landscape. The experiment was about to begin. In 1997, truck after truck dumped 12,000 tons of orange peels onto a three-hectare plot in the area de Conservación Guanacaste. The barren field was buried under a thick citrus-scented blanket, half a meter deep in places. Locals and scientists alike were skeptical. Would the acidic peels poison the soil, or could they transform it? The project was controversial, so much so that a lawsuit halted further dumping after just one year. The experiment was left to nature, with only a single, massive, deposit of peels. The scientists hoped the peels would block sunlight, kill invasive grasses, and, as they decomposed, release nutrients to revive the soil. The trucks left, the field was forgotten, and the waiting began. Would this, chaotic, messy act, become a disaster, or a miracle? The answer would take years to reveal itself. Sometimes, the biggest changes start with a mess. The orange peels were now in nature's hands. The first years were ugly, the peels rotted, turning black and slimy, swarming with insects. Critics called it a failure, but beneath the surface the real transformation had begun. The thick layer of peels killed the invasive grasses and attracted worms and insects which aerated and enriched the soil. The feared acidity faded as the peels broke down, replaced by a rich, fertile topsoil. Slowly, hardy pioneer plants appeared, their seeds carried by wind and animals. Restoration isn't always pretty. Sometimes healing starts with decay. The orange peels weren't poison, they were a catalyst. The barren land was quietly preparing for a comeback. The experiment's success was subtle at first, but the groundwork for a new forest was being laid. Nature was working in its own time. The ugly beginnings masked a hidden revolution. Nearly 20 years later, the forgotten field was unrecognizable. A dense young jungle had taken its place, where there was once cracked earth, now stood a thriving ecosystem alive with birds and insects. Scientific surveys revealed a 176% increase in woody plant biomass compared to untreated land. Dozens of native tree species had taken root, all without human planting. The soil was richer, darker, and teeming with life. Wildlife returned monkeys feasted on new fruits, and even jaguars roamed the reborn forest. The orange peels had vanished, replaced by a vibrant self-sustaining ecosystem. The experiment proved that waste could heal, not harm. The land was transformed, not just with trees, but with life. The control plot, untouched by peels, remained barren and unchanged. The orange peel plot had become a living testament to nature's resilience. Sometimes, the simplest ideas yield the most extraordinary results. The Costa Rican orange peel experiment is a message of hope. It shows that with creativity, waste can become a tool for restoration. By mimicking nature's cycles, we can heal even the most damaged lands. The experiment proved that adding organic waste can supercharge forest recovery, faster and cheaper than planting trees. This approach, called applied nucleation, creates islands of fertility that attract seeds and wildlife. It's not a universal fix, but the principle is powerful. Connect waste streams to restoration goals. Around the world, millions of tons of agricultural waste could help revive degraded lands. The story of 12,000 tons of orange peels is about resilience, of nature, and of human partnership. Sometimes the best solutions are simple, unexpected, and right in front of us. To bring a forest back to life, sometimes all you need is a little bit of food and a lot of faith in nature.